Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash free. There are also several ways that you can create a basic data entry form using the buttons that are available in the Forms group on the Create tab in the ribbon. To create a form in this manner, however, you must first select the name of the table or query from the navigation pane for which you would like to create an associated data form. Now once you've made your selection, you can then click on the type of form that you would like to create from the buttons shown in the Forms group on the Create tab in the ribbon. When you do that, Access will instantly create a form of the specified type for the selected table or query. The only difference between the forms that are created is the style of form that you selected when you click the corresponding button. So let's examine what buttons are available to click and how each button selection changes the layout of the resultant form. Now you can select your desired table or query from the navigation pane and then click the Form button to create a standard data entry form that displays one record at a time. You can click the Split Form button to create a split form that shows the current record at the top of the form and an accompanying datasheet view of the underlying data source at the bottom of the form. You can click the Multiple Items button to create a form that displays multiple records in the form, but only each record in its own row within the form. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash free.